Kenyan President William Ruto has come under fire from Julius Malema, the head of the opposition in South Africa, for not keeping the pledges he made to Kenyans during his election campaign last year. Speaking on Thursday, November 9, at the Pan-African Institute's opening in Kenya, Mr. Malema drew attention to a discrepancy between President Ruto's words and deeds, accusing him of reneging on his pledge to spearhead the removal of the US dollar as a medium of exchange in Africa. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for joining us. This video will help us understand the circumstances surrounding Malima's accusations and verify whether or not Ruto is guilty. If you are new to this channel, do well to like and share the video, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our future videos. Malima declared that the president of Kenya had changed during his campaign and asked Kenyans to put their trust in him when casting their ballots when in fact all was just for the deception of the people of Kenya. I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I cannot locate him these days because the things he said during elections and the things he is doing now are two different things," said Malima. Ruto ran on a platform of revitalizing the flagging economy and putting more money in the hands of small business owners, unpaid laborers, and other low-income people. Instead, he implemented new taxes, which made many of the people who voted for him unhappy because everything from food to energy to gasoline now costs more. We have not seen any changes in the economy. Things are getting worse and worse," said unemployed financier, Robert Kibringe. There's a lot of talking, but very little action. These people promised heaven and earth, but we are not seeing what they promised, they are not delivering. Ruto however, defended his economic policies, saying he was cutting on public debt. Speaking to a crowd of hundreds at Lukenia University in Makwani County, Kenya, on the occasion of the Pan-African Institute's opening, Malima chastised the president for not living up to his words and for attempting to eliminate the US dollar as a medium of exchange in Africa. I don't know, because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar, he said for not adhering to the true cause of the African freedom fighters who were killed and tortured by the colonialists, President Ruto has come under fire from Malima. He claimed that during the British monarch's recent visit to Kenya, the country's head of state should not have exchanged a grin or a handshake with King Charles and Queen Camilla. Malima claimed that the king showed no remorse for the crimes carried out in Kenya during the British colonial era. King Charles did not issue a formal apology during the visit, but he did express regret for the wrongs done to Kenya during the colonial era. Malima has urged the Kenyan government to be firm and decide what they want to do, either be pan-Africanists or proponents of neo-colonialism. Mr. Ruto's administration has faced mounting criticism over the worsening cost of living even though the president won elections last year with a promise to ease the financial difficulties of families. With many Africans not only Kenyans being concerned about Ruto's government, it is just a question of how much longer Ruto will remain in power over Kenya. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a review and comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.